In this test, let's suppose that we're analyzing the data um, of a test that was designed to gauge the effect of um, alcohol on uh, drunk driving by measuring response time to some stimulus. Um, response time is measured in seconds. And we're going to assume that the data is normally distributed with a mean of 3 and a standard deviation of 0.6. The rest, what proportion is between 1.8 and 4.2? So what we want to do is we want to integrate um, the density function of the normal distribution um, from, let's see, 1.8 to 4.2. And of course, substituting mu equals 3 and sigma equals 0.6. Now remember that the density function is 1 over square root of 2 pi uh, times sigma. Uh, Time, uh, the whole thing times e to the negative one half times x minus mu over sigma quantity squared. And we integrate that with respect to x. All right, so if we substitute um, sigma equals 0 0.6. And mu equals 3. And this is kind of a complicated inter integral, so it'd probably be a lot, um, a lot easier if we uh, used uh, s a simple substitution. So let's, let's let z equal um, what's in the parentheses here. So let's let z equal negative, or x minus 3 over 0 0.6. Well then, uh, dz is equal to, uh, let's see, just 1 over 0 0.6. Uh, dx. So now we can simplify this and this becomes 1 over uh, square root of 2 pi uh, times 0 0.6 uh, e to the negative 1 half. And this is just z, so we end up with z squared. So I'll just write this as negative z squared over 2. And dx then is equal to 0 0.6 dz. So we'll just put 0 0.6 in the numerator. And which means that they cancel out. And of course we need to change the limits now to z limits instead of x. Uh, so this we're integrating with respect to z, not x. So when x is equal to 1.8, then z is equal to, let's see, well, 3 minus 1.8 over 0 0.6 is equal to, um, let's see, 3 minus 1.8 is 1.2 over 0 0.6 is equal to positive 2. So, uh, right, so the limit is, uh, is uh, lower limit, looks like it is positive 2. Excuse me, no, this should be 1.8 minus 3. So that makes this negative 2. And when x is equal to 4.2, um, uh, then z equal to 4.2 minus 3 over 0 0.6. And now we get um, positive 1.2 over 0 0.6, which is positive 2. So this is the integral from negative 2 uh, to 2. I'll pull the 1 over 2 pi uh, out of the integral sign. Or excuse me, 1 over square root of 2 pi. And on the inside, that just leaves us with e to the negative z squared over 2 uh, dz. And we can use either a result from a problem in the, our previous problem in this section, which says that the proportion of the, this data is about equal to 0.95, or we can use um, a numerical integration system to evaluate the more simple but still um, 
fairly complex integral.